like that and uh, continue on the tax theme just a general sort of uh, what other taxes you're going to pay as sort of a, a developer or a buy to letter even it's um i've espoused the benefits of putting into a limited company I, majority of cases that will be the better case so the taxes you're going to pay are going to be company taxes taxes on dividends and then ultimately when you wind your company up because we all are going to stop doing this one day is entrepreneur entrepreneurs allowance hopefully if that's still a thing when the uh, when you wind your companies up because i know certain uh, political parties have got their eyes on getting rid of all of that and uh, stopping the entrepreneurial uh, spirit in the uh, country but uh, but yeah as things stand now it's uh, yeah if you're in a limited company then the best ways to do it pay any corporation tax tax on dividends personally I don't I, the yeah so your taxes you're gonna have to pay so as a general sort of catch-all there's loads of other taxes you've got to pay as a landlord um, if you're doing it in your own end there's gonna be income taxes and so forth if you're doing it in a company then it's gonna be more company taxes taxes on dividends and if you wind it up your company entrepreneurs allowance although that might be on thin ice should we get um, a Labour government um, I don't want to dwell too much on other taxes and uh, this is where you need a conversation with your accountant tax policy does change so again if it's marginal looking at um, a limited company versus keeping it your own name again it's probably going to be better to put it into a limited company because that might protect you a bit more against future tax changes or it could be the other way around who knows but it's a case of pay your money and take your choice um, for me always limited company I know I said previously I've got loads of flats in my own name when I first started doing this that was a better way of doing it it's since changed and I I can't change it now without paying a shed load of stamp duty I can't tra transfer anything across from my name to the company so it's you, you when you make your decision you are stuck with it so do think long and hard about how you set up your company but um, yeah, a good accountant will minimize your tax for them and that's where you need a decent accountant and not just a cheap one. So one that's gonna look at you and your business and find the best ways to minimize your tax burden. Well, I hope that was useful. See you on the next one, bye bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks, see you on the next one.